Welcome back to all and I hope you've had a fabulous break with your children over the term holidays. A special welcome to our new students that commence at Hazel Glen College this week. Once again, we look forward to a very busy and productive term with excursions, information evenings, walk to school and ride to school days and special events. The calendar is already quickly filling. Our main form of communication to parents and students is via Compass. It will certainly not take long before we're back in the midst of an action-packed term. Importantly, the students have settled back in extremely well and we are ready for a full term ahead. Once again, I thank you for your support with the college uniform. The students have arrived back this term to the college and they look absolutely fabulous. Interesting, a lot still happens over the holiday period. Last Wednesday, the college came alive with a range of activities happening. We held our annual RMIT forum, hosting 164th year RMIT students. Our production rehearsal, well underway with many of our staff attending, and the school holiday and extended care programs were running full steam ahead as well. I'd also like to acknowledge the maintenance team, Tony, Chris and Nathan, who are at the college keeping our grounds looking absolutely fantastic. On Saturday the 29th of April, Hazel Glen College will hold its open day from 9am until 1pm. Please feel free to spend some time to come along and visit areas of the college that you may not have had an opportunity to see before. All areas of the college will be open, including the Child Family Centre. This will be a great opportunity to showcase the college to all members of both the local and the wider school community. A number of our students will be involved in activities throughout the morning. Food and drinks will be available from the middle school canteen. Next Monday the 24th, our whole college will be involved in a special Anzac Day service to be held here in our gym. The service will commence at 9am. There will be no junior school assembly on that Monday morning, please remember that. This will be the first occasion this year that we will have our whole college, kinder to year nine, come together, over 2,000 students attending. While parents are invited to attend, please be aware that space within our gym will be very, very limited. Importantly, a special flyer has been posted on both Compass and our college Facebook page advising all parents of the dawn service to be held at the RSL Cenotaph commencing at 6am. We are inviting as many parents and students as possible to meet at JJ's Cafe in Hazel Glen Drive at 5am and we will depart at 5.15am and walk together to the Cenotaph in the front of Lorimer Primary School for the dawn service. Students attending are to wear college uniform. Hazel Glen will have our choir and student leaders involved in the dawn service. I realise that this is a very early start to the day, however, the importance of the occasion and our official involvement cannot be overstated. Last year the response from Hazel Glen was overwhelming. Finally, our prep information evening will be held on Wednesday the 17th of May. Certainly a few weeks off, however, if you have a child starting prep next year or know of anyone who may be interested, this session is an informative overview. A reminder to parents please that the junior school buildings are not open until 8.30 in the morning. Following this time, parents and children are encouraged to come inside and enter the classrooms. In the afternoon, Please do not enter the buildings until the bell is rung at around 3.15. I ask for your cooperation in this matter. Please also be mindful of the need to ensure that items of clothing are clearly labelled, not just on the collar tab. The number of clothing items that are found and do not have a name is starting to increase dramatically. Also, check regularly that the name on your child's clothing corresponds with your child. If an item of clothing has a name, it can be returned to the rightful owner as soon as possible. There are occasions where children mistakenly pick up the wrong jumper or hat. Again, a reminder that the college uniform is compulsory. Students in middle school and year nine are required to wear the winter uniform. Thank you very much, and I look forward to speaking to you in the near future.